This video will show you how to program an ATV212 drive to run using 2R control and also to use VIA as your 0 to 10 volt DC reference. The first thing that you'll want to do is to program your motor parameters. And to do this, you first want to press mode. Once you see AUF, you will gonna go ahead and hit the down arrow key and then find F as in Frank, dash, 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 enter. And now you want to go up to F415. Now F415 is your um, rated motor current value parameter. So if your motor nameplate says that your motor is ready for 10 amps, then you want to make sure that this drive, this parameter, F415, is ready for 10 amps. So you can use your up and down arrow key to make adjustments if necessary. And once you made an adjustment, press enter and that will save that setting. The next parameter after this is F417. Again, to get there, you want to press the up arrow key and then enter on the parameter F417. And this is your motor RPM rating. And again, you can use your up and down arrow key to make changes and then once you're done, press enter. And the next parameter is F601. Now F601 is your motor current limitation parameter. And to, to know what rating or what value you want to put in this, this parameter, you basically take your motor rated current value and you multiply that by your motor's service factor. So as an example, if you have a motor rated for 10 amps and your service factor is 1.15, then the value you want to put for this parameter F601 is 11.5. Um, with this parameter done, you want to press the mode key until you go back out to FR-F. I just did it too quickly, so you want to... So basically when you press mode, again, we're in the parameter list, you want to press mode, and it will go back the same way you came in, which is F-F-F. The next parameter you want to go down to is TYP and the TYP parameter is a ba basically a way of setting the drive for either a 60 Hertz or a 50 Hertz rating and once you see this you want to press enter you'll have two values one on the left and one on the right the one on the left will show you what mode you're on right now the one on the right is what you are trying to set it to and of course if you make it a 60 Hertz rated drive then you want to press the 2 on the right hand side and it will flash and then once you have the right side to 2 you want to press enter and the drive will say hello to indicate that it just did a reset and we'll have of course uh, reset the drive for a 60 hertz rating um, the next parameter you want to go to is parameter is ULU and to get there again you want to go to press mode to go to AUF and then hit the down arrow key and then you'll eventually find ULU. And again, this parameter is your motor, motor's rated voltage current, voltage rating. Um, and currently mine is 230. But again, if your motor says 460 or 220 or 210, you'll want to adjust this parameter accordingly. Once you made that programming change, the next parameter you want to go down to is FNOD. Now FNOD is your frequency mode selection parameter and this is where you tell the drive where your speed reference is coming from and if you want to use VIA then we need to make sure that FNOD is set to a value of 1. 1 is VIA, 2 is VIB, 3 is your HMI, 4 is communications and 5 is your plus and minus speed so we want 1 for VIA. So you press enter and currently mine is on VIA. Again, you can use your up and down arrow keys to make a change. And the next parameter you want to go down to is CNOD. This tells the drive where your commands are coming from in terms of start and stop. And currently we have it on zero, which is a factory setting. And of course zero is for terminal control. And at this point we programmed ULU we programmed F415, F417, and F601 for your RPM current 
and your current limitation parameters. And the last thing that we want to go ahead and do here is under the AF menu, you want to find parameter THR. Now this parameter is basically there to provide your motor with overload protection. So you want to make sure this rating right here is the exact same value as F415, which is your motor current rating. Okay. And once you made a change, you want to press enter. And at this point, with CNOD set to zero and FNOD set to one, the drive is basically set up and ready to go to run using 2R control as your commands and VIA as your speed reference.